All right, everybody, welcome back to King's Quest 3. We're climbing back up the mountain now to the wizard's house before he gets back. We don't want him to know of our little escapade down here. So we better get up the mountain quickly because we do not want to be found by the wizard down here. And we actually have like eight minutes before he gets back, so we do have some time. But it's good. It's good. So, we'll uh, go across. I don't really like climbing this mountain. It's like the most boring thing in this stupid game. But we gotta do it. Gotta do what you gotta do, man. Am I right? And we're here. We'll open the door. I've become quite adept at climbing that mountain. Go in here. Go down the staircase. Oh, I think we still have the magic wand, right? Yeah, we've still got it go down the stairs and descend back into the laboratory of the wizard so we'll go down the stairs uh let's see we got quite a few things while we were <laughs> that always throws me uh while we were in the village down there so let's look at the uh lard there's nothing very interesting about this jar of whitish thick lard uh fish oil a strong fishy smell emanates from the glass jar. Salt. Looking inside the salt bag, you see the coarse grains of salt. We got... There was a, that purse with coins in it that we uh, got from the bad guys. You eagerly peek inside the soft leather coin purse and discover it contains some shiny gold coins. You may want to count them. You have four gold coins. All right, we must have had eight before because we spent four of them at the tavern or at, at the shop so uh let's see what else did we get we got that cactus the greenish gray cactus is small plump and fleshy we got the snake skin the dry thin snake skin is extremely fragile we got some other stuff we got the ocean water in a cup the metal cup has ocean water in it we got the spoonful of mud the spoonful of mud has already dried we got so we got some porridge from the the, <clears throat> the bear's house the warm porridge is in a pretty blue ceramic bowl. Its aroma wafts up to and tantalizes your nose. And we got the thimble full of dew. The dew sparkles within the little silver thimble. We got some mi uh, mistletoe. Mistletoe. The dried sprig of mistletoe is a thick grayish green with remnants of little berries still attached. It is not a pretty plant. We got some dog hair. This wad of dog hair is dirty white and brown. We got... Uh, and chicken feather. We got some acorns, three dried acorns. The three acorns are dried and brittle. And lastly, we got a chicken feather. The chicken feather is small and light, no more than a piece of fluff. Okay. Here we go. Let's open the book to page 25. With trembling hands, you turn the pages of the sorcery of old and prepare to follow its instructions precisely. You know you must work with the utmost care. Every step is critical. Each must be done in the proper way, in the proper sequence. You tremble in anticipation. Uh, put mandrake root powder in bowl. You pour the mandrake root powder into the bowl. Put cat hair in bowl. You put the ball of cat hair into the mixing bowl. Put two spoons of fish oil in bowl. You pour the fish oil into the bowl and keep the empty jar. Uh, stir mixture with spoon. You mix the ingredients together. The mixture turns into an oily, disagreeable dough with the cat hair sticking out of it. Put dough on table. Scrunching your nose in distaste, you grab the oily dough from the clay bowl and put it on the oaken table. Pat dough into cookie. Pushing the palm of your hand on the oily dough, you flatten it until it is in the shape of a cookie. After a bit, the cookie hardens. Alright. Mandrake, root, and hair, hair of cat. Mix oil of fish and give a pat. Uh, a feline from the one who eats this appetizing magic treat. Wave magic wand. You wave the magic wand over the cookie, then take it from the table and carry it with you. 
Successfully completing this spell, you again look at the wizard's laboratory. Let's look at the cookie. The only resemblance to a real cookie is the flat, round shape. It is hard and has cat hair sticking out of it. Definitely non-appetizing. Well, we will have to conceal the cookie in some way, won't we? So let's put the cookie in the porridge. The porridge conceals the crumbled cookie. It still looks as appetizing as ever. Okay, so, uh, I think we have enough time to do some more spells. Let's do the spell for Brewing a Storm. Open book to page 84. Put cup of ocean water in bowl. Carefully, you pour the cup of ocean water into the mixing bowl. Light charcoal brazier. Making sure there is fresh charcoal in the brazier, there is a small supply here, you light it with a flint. Soon the brazier is hot. Heat bowl on brazier. Being cautious not to burn yourself, you gently place the bowl of ocean water on the hot charcoal brazier. You watch as the salt water slowly warms, then begins to steam. You remove it just before it boils. Put a spoon of mud in bowl. Adding a spoonful of mud to the hot ocean water, you slowly stir the mixture. The mud turns the water a cloudy brown. Uh, add pinch of toadstool powder. You put just a pinch of toadstool powder in the bowl of hot brown liquid. Blow into hot brew. Leaning over the hot brew, you forcefully blow your longest breath of air into the bowl, whirling the brew around and around. Elements from the earth and sea. Combine to set the heavens free. Uh, when I stir this magic brew, great god Thor, I call on you. Wow, that sounds rather evil, doesn't it? And wave magic wand. You wave the magic wand over the bowl of hot brown liquid. All right, let's pour this storm brew into the jar just for storage purposes. Waiting until the liquid has cooled, you carefully pour the storm brew into an empty glass jar. Successfully completing the spell, you again look at the wizard's laboratory. Let's look at the storm brew. The dirty brown storm brew sloshes around in a half-filled glass jar. All right, let's go back up here. We want to get everything put away before the wizard comes back. So we'll just go up the staircase quickly now. He shouldn't get back until 30 minutes on the dot, because he left at 5 minutes on the dot, and I believe he's gone for 30 minutes exactly. Uh, push lever. The trapdoor groans shut, disappearing into the floorboards. Move books. Uh, go back. You move the big book back where you found it, so that it again conceals the metal lever. You don't want the old wizard to grow suspicious of your activities. Over here, we will unlock cabinet. You unlock the oaken cabinet using the brass key. You carefully replace the magic wand exactly as you found it. After closing the door, you carefully relock it. All right, now let's get upstairs quickly now. Uh, no, no, uh. All right, here we are. Let's, uh, my heart's beating really fast right now, by the way. Just kidding. Put inventory under bed. You get on your hands and knees and quickly shove all your possessions under the bed. They will be safe from the wizard's sharp eyes there. Got four points for that. Get porridge. Dropping to your knees, you reach under the bed and retrieve it. All right, we have the porridge now. So we just have to wait a couple minutes, three minutes, I guess, for the wizard to come back. We might have been able to do another spell in that time, but I didn't really want to risk it. Sure you can understand that? Yes. A portrait of a wizard on the back wall. How fascinating that is. So, why don't we just go into the kitchen and sweep the floor or something? Because that won't seem suspicious. Get broom. Misspelling. Broom. Yes. 
We're no, nothing to see here. Just sweeping the floor. That's all. Nothing to matter. No worries. No fret. Just sweeping the floor like any good boy would do. Of course, Gwydion's supposed to be 17, so he's actually older than me, because I'm 16. If you didn't know that, which I assume you might have. Ayo. Yes. We still have another minute. Uh, I think all we have in our possession at the moment is the porridge, so nothing really to do to bide our time except wait. Don't want to go in here. Maybe he'll find us and kill us. We got to stay right here. Wandering around aimlessly. La -da 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 -da. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Alright, we are almost to the point. Yeah. I guess there's a wall here. Interestingly enough, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on, really. What? What's with the bright red floors? And the... Oh, the gray walls. This this guy has a weird color scheme with <laughs> color scheme with the yellow stairs and uh, flashing candles. <laughs> the candles are just flashing orange, red, and yellow. Up here too, same flashiness. And no, no, no animation in here. But we got the animation in here. Alright, the cat's in there. Now he's gone. He disappeared. Wizard should be coming real soon. I have returned, Gwydion, and am ready to eat. Alright, we shall... We shall feed him. Mananin is impatiently waiting for his food. His stomach rumbles as he drums his gnarled fingers on the table. You'd better feed him quickly, or dire consequences may result. Oh no! This is frightening. Let's feed wizard. You place the food on the dining table before the hungry wizard. Ravenously, he devours every bit of it. <laughs> um, 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 <laughs> he really likes that food. Just keep shoveling it in there, man. You fooled him. Mananin didn't realize the porridge was tainted and ate the whole bowl. Congratulations. Mananin will never again enslave you or the people of Ludor. At last, you are free. Well, I would be glad about that. Except we still haven't finished the game. There's more, because we have to escape. We can't stay here forever. So, we'll go back up here and get all our stuff. Uh, get inventory. Dropping to your knees, you reach under the bed and retrieve all of your possessions. We've got everything now. And everything is so glorious. Yeah, that's right. We'll go back down into the laboratory and cook up some more spells. That must be the spell book that teaches you how to spell. <laughs> Funny. All right, uh, stupid cat, get out of the way. I hate you. Whew, let's not get violent. Just go in here and uh, unlock this thingy. Unlock cabinet. All right, we got the wand. And over here, we'll move the books back into place, or back out of place, and uh, move lever. And there we go. 